What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Yulaine. I'm the owner of What LBE. Y'all, happy Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do not know how I have any energy, um, but I know I have to have energy to get these towers out the door today. Um, they are going out this evening, so I need to get them prepared and ready to go. Now, I told you guys I had already had the boxes together. I stuffed the boxes way before Mother's Day because I knew, I knew I was going to be tired yesterday. And I was like, nope, I'm not going to do them. I'm not going to do them. I'm going to go ahead and do them now. So anyway, I have all the boxes packed and ready to go. I just need to get them stacked, get them bowed up, and out the door. Okay? So... I wanted to show you guys because those of you are new to my channel, um, this is a nonprofit organization that um, has hired me to create these towers twice a year in May and in November um, for their, um, they hold like this graduation for, um, it's an entrepreneur um, nonprofit organization and they hold graduations for the people that take the entrepreneur course. Um, so, a little backstory of how I got started with it. I was a part or one of the students years ago. <laughs> and so um, they decided to ask me because they decided to start giving out um, some gifts for the graduates. Um, and so they decided to, they came to me and they said, Elaine, can you make us some baskets? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, baskets? Uh, you know, because of this type organization i thought maybe the boxes would be better so I, I pitched the boxes to them um and showed them exactly how they would be or what they would look like and i made the first set of boxes and the rest is history so they order the tower gifts every year um one is either for them to carry and two um it just looks more professional and it stands out better. Which baskets look professional, don't get me wrong, but these stand out way better than um, baskets when they're having them on the stage and to ready to, for them to be uh, presented. They look like, they look a little bit better than just having baskets on the stage is what I'm saying. Um, but anyway, so they ran with the boxes and we've been rolling with the boxes ever since. So that's the backstory on that. Um, that's how I got into that. Um, they came to me years after I've graduated and was like, we know who can make these. We know who can pull it off. We know who can give us what we need. And they came to me and God has blessed me every year now since they called me and contacted me to create these twice a year. So that is what it is. Um, now I'm going to show you exactly what's in it. For those of you who are new to my channel, you probably didn't see the previous video, which I will make sure I put that in the description link um, so that you can know where most of the stuff come from. Because right now I'm in crunch time. Um, push mode and honestly I really don't have the time to tell you every every single detail so no me no harm I'm trying to get these done but I did want to get a video out to let you all know what was in them and how it's been presented okay okay so let's bring the camera down <laughs> all right for the large box we have the bottle water that I told you guys I was gonna add we have our snacks the pistachios the water and the skinny pop um, there's also another snack in here, but it's in a totally different box. Well, not totally different box. It's in the second box. Um, we have an antibacterial wipes. I was going to go with hand sanitizer, but I decided to go with the wipes instead. Um, we have our tumblers. Um, and the tumblers automatically came with their own straw package with a cleaning brush. Um, so that was a great deal for me. Um, these are going to be stacked on top of dry erase boards. So of course, I stuck their dry erase markers down in there. Let's bring some of this up. Sorry, I'm trying to bring it back to life again since I took that out of there. Um, but basically, this is how this is going to be presented. When they open it up, this is the goodies they're going to find inside the large box. All right, for the medium sized box, we have the portable speaker. We have our um, click pins, ballpoint pins. Everybody needs pins all the time. It is what it is. 
Um, I also gave them a speaker to, um, it's a clip speaker. I went with a clip speaker this time. I used it just a regular portable speaker, but I went with a clip speaker because they can, you know, attach it to their laptop bag or take it wherever they want to go with it. Um, and then it allows them to have, you know, peace and calm. Some people like to listen to music while they work. So, um, added that to it. And then they have another little snack up under there. It's kind of blended in. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much all that's in the second box. As you can see, I tried to lay out everything nice and neat, but also add a little festivity with the with the Easter grass. And yes, that is Easter grass. And I'm taping these up as I go because this is another one I can go ahead and complete. <laughs> um, the next box, which is the top box. Okay, so I gotta lift up some stuff because it's stuff up on here. All right, first and foremost, they have this LED uh, clip light that can clip on their laptop, their tablet, or their desktop computers, whichever one they have. Um, gift cards are supplied by the um, organization. They are, I'll go and pick them up and add them to the gift tower. I gave them a few more pieces of candy. Um, of course, my business card always goes in there. And then, of course, I added two of the bracelets, like I said. Um, this one says, Courage to Do Anything. And this one says create the life that you dream of um these are little inspiration bracelets um that i found on amazon so just an fyi um but that's all that's going in that top box and this these boxes uh these this tower gifts are based off of their budget um and then hold on They will go on top of a dry erase board. Uh, I gotta get the, the price off of here. I just peeled a little corn off, honey, because that's all that's on there anyway. I'll take the whole thing off. And I can't use a heat gun or anything on this, y'all, because this is on top of the plastic wrap that's on, that's around the board, and I don't wanna take that off. All right, so basically what we do here is take the board we place it down I use my glue dots I just stick them in one corner on each side try to line it up as best as I know how and stick it down same thing with this this just allows the boxes not to move too much um you know if anything happens to them or whatever along with the ribbon tying them down this just helps with the more securement of the boxes to stay in place i know y'all like yeah you just did that real quick that's because i'm so used to doing these things <laughs> um next thing is i always tie so as you can see i tie all the ribbon around and i just make like little tails because the bow that i put on here is going to be a bow with no tails and then I'm going to zip tie um, zip tie or pipe clean the bow down I can't remember how I did it last year um, but it's okay I'll figure out whichever new way I want to do it um, but I zip tie or or whatever <laughs> the bow down to it and the bow just sits on top like that um, and I found it easier to do it this way because this allows me to go ahead and tighten this ribbon um, so that it doesn't move and I don't have to worry about trying to like tape the ribbon on the bottom and all this stuff to keep it from being loose as you can see this is pretty tight y'all see that so <laughs> I try to make sure that goes um, my lime green ribbon always comes in a large roll I can't never find a black and white in a large roll so I always do just to save on my black and white ribbon I always do the well I sometimes do the green on the long side and I don't take too much because I'm just tying this in a knot so we don't like it don't take too much ribbon to tie this up and I just tie it regular like in a knot double knot and then I just duck tail it I 
try to duct tail it where it's not hanging over too far. Because I really don't need it hanging over. I just need it to be able to lay down on top. Just like that. And I always do... Well, I don't say I always do, but I do one color first and the next color second. Hold on a second. Let me put my face and stuff all in the camera. Lime green ribbon came from Sam's. I wish I could have found the black and white from Sam's. I know they used to sell it during Christmas time, but I am out of the Christmas one, so I had to go to Old Time Pottery to get this pretty good size roll. So with this, I crisscross it and I tuck it under on both sides. Just so I can loop it around the green. And I just basically give it one knot, tie it off, duct tail it. y'all so this is how um i do these um i'm not gonna put bows on them on the video y'all know how to make bows it's just a simple bows y'all swear um a couple loops and we're gonna put them on top um just to make them stand out some more i was gonna do like i said the graduation hats but um i don't know if i said that to y'all not but i was gonna do the graduation hats that dollar tree sales but i don't have enough because i ended up had to do some last minute graduations during mother's day uh weekend so um, that kind of took away from um, adding hats to these. But it's okay. Because uh, I normally don't do the hats anyway. I just put bows on top. Um, but I hope this video was very helpful. I hope you guys um, can come up with a concept to present to uh, different companies. Um, in hopes that, that you know one grabs on to you and say they want to order. And then you just, you know go what you need to go with um get a little bit more information on the company and what they do and you know stuff like that ask them if they want if they have any items they want to add to it as you can see they added the amazon cards um but yeah just um i faked it till i made it i'm just gonna be honest <laughs> i told people i did everything um and, and then they just took a uh a, a, a shot at me but i did do a lot of research on corporate gifts and i watch a lot of videos still to this day because you never you can't never learn enough so with that said i'm not perfect at it but i do what my heart desires and i make sure that it is very well presentable at all times um so again i hope this video helped thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe we'll see you on the next video peace